Hello. I want to show you how to adjust the columns in a voucher entry screen. So, so many times when users come on, uh, you know, the first time exposures, almost all of these columns in the detail are exposed. You can see here, we have lots of columns available. And many of the, you know, most of these, depending on what you're doing and what your role is, many of these columns will not apply to you. So, for example, if you don't have contracts, you can hide that column. So you would need load, you would need contract sequence. You might need some of these items. Again, depending on what you're doing, location, tax group, some of those things may not matter. You can keep um, hiding and unhiding all the columns that you need to that make sense to you. So, you know, if you weren't using storage, you could hide that. Hide that. And hide that. So you can see I can um, you know, just work this down to something that's really suitable for me. The other thing I can do is move stuff around. Just using my mouse to drag these things over. I can like click the search mechanism. But you can see I, I, I've now I can control this however I want. Once you're done, you can say do save as. So now I can save this and this is be for me at uh, any time I want. If I save it as a default, this will, this will save it for company wide. So everybody could be using the same template, but you can see if I want to retrieve it, So here I can go back to default view, or I can go back to my test view, and it just adjusts accordingly. So when a new user comes to I-21 and they're, and they're going to be part of the uh, entering vouchers, they should set these columns up to that makes sense to them. And nothing is permanent, so you can always make changes later.